We're just trying so many new things here at the Spiel, but you know, we spend countless hours every single day going through your emails, your comments. It's very important to us. Um, we do know that you want us to, I think we've taken some sort of non-scientific look at maybe a vote, right? What people want and they want, they want food, right? So thank goodness for Prairie Farms. We're going to keep doing the Spiel in the Kitchen segment. So that, that made the cut. We're going to keep doing the entertainment segment, which is the You're On. That's where they're aspiring to make it to the big time. And then we could do a backstage pass for those people. All those were approved, right? Um, I'm happy to know that I was still voted the host for now, right? For now. But just in case that changes, I think it's time to start handing the baton. So I wanted to call up Lucas and Rob um, because if... Oh, goodness, you know, I mean, just no, that's me. a that's bull in a china shop, right? Okay, here's the deal. So what we want to do is, in this business, it's crazy. You, you've got to do like a headline, right, to make people stay. So, I mean, I'll just start with this. We have an Oscar nominee on the show today. The Academy Awards. I don't think you can get any bigger than that, right? So we have one of those. We have an entrepreneur business. It, they make a, a product that everybody loves, so you won't want to miss that. Um, we have some really sweet treats, right? Oh, those yeah. are good. Those are really, really good. And um, we have some music. Some brothers are here to harmonize, and we're going to have that. But, okay, what I thought we should do, so that's what's called headlines. Um, we're kind of headlining and telling you what we have. But then we have to tease you throughout the show, right? We have to let you know what's coming up. And typically, if we do our jobs right, we save the very best stuff till the last. You know why? So you'll keep watching. I know. It's trickery. I would be so upset if I were you. Those emails can go to Rob at Yes, or not. Or, or not. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to do it on every segment, but I'm going to give you the segments that we're expecting to have. I already explained the guests. I'm going to give you their names. And then if you feel like that's the one for you to deliver the very best tease to get our audience to stay, then we have a studio audience out here of about 52 people, right? Is that... <laughs> What they're being they're being really quiet. Well, they're very quiet. You just lowballed it. Put some oh very good. Yeah, put some I lowballed. Yes, okay. So by by applause, we're gonna decide who wins, okay? Everybody go with the, the rules, right? I don't okay. know. Okay. Well, listen, so we know we have the Flat River Band, right? Okay, the Flat River Band. We have Copper Oak Candle Company, okay? Bake Me Happy. All right. And then there's something on here called Angie and Daniel's Chicken Challenge. The interview heats up. <laughs> I got dibs on that one. <laughs> I think I just wrote it for him, right? So, okay, here's what we're going to do. You guys can think about it for about one second. And then I'm going to call on each now and just deliver something from, from one of those topics that will get people to stay tuned, okay? okay. All right, here we go. Lucas. Oh, so oh, you're not, <laughs> not going to tell me which, which one to do? They're going to boo and hiss. Which one to do? I thought we were choosing. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know we were choosing. Do you understand the assignment? Somebody play that TikTok music. What is, understand the assignment. Okay. No. <laughs> Out of any of those, you're choosing one that you feel like you could really deliver. So we're going to oh, pass okay. you for a moment. Thank no, I'm, goodness I'm good. There. I'm good. Oh, you're really yeah, good? Yeah, I'm good. You're already good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I I'm, wasn't pointing. I'm going to do the, uh, the candle company. Go for it. Okay. Have you ever wondered a burning passion just inside of you for your life. The secret is candles. Stay tuned. I don't, I mean, I'm a little frightened. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's, it's a little Harlequin, like, you know, Dollar General romance novel in I the back. for my life somewhere around fashion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. It was, it was something. But we do appreciate you taking the time there. And I'm sure the candle company maker knows that you're not ever going to deliver their jingles. Okay, go I'm ahead. I'm going to do all our commercials. Yes. All right. First of all, get out of here. <laughs> no, Rob, you're sharing the stage. Okay. Let's get along nice. Stay tuned. Coming up, things heat up in the kitchen when Daniel challenges Angie to a hot competition. Oh, okay. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. You, I'm not, I'm you not still feel good? For that trash. <laughs> 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 All right. Either way, guys, you can tell we have a great show, so we want you to stay right there and we'll be right back. Or not. Stop. <laughs> Cut.
Homer Hines Bryant. He actually started it because he wanted little girls, especially of color, to be able to connect to ballet. Sort of a lonesome place out here, Pete. I had a chance to talk with Cody Smith McPhee about the Netflix film, The Power of the Dog. My name is Greta Smith, and I'm a nurse practitioner for Shawneetown Healthcare Center. And I love it all, you know, and that's one of the reasons that I chose family practice is because I like that every day's a challenge. You know, there's a new something you walk into, whether it's, you know, a well baby check to, you know, an 85 year old patient in here getting their bed refills and their labs. I mean, I just, I enjoy the whole spectrum. It's like an extension of your own family. Picture it, your home away from home and in some of the most beautiful places anywhere. Well, what are you waiting for? Now is absolutely the best time to buy. Larry's has 100 as is. They're cheap, folks. What you see is what you get. RV just waiting for you to hook on and haul out. All inventory needs to move, and that should be music to your ears. for us to share our dance and who we are with the world. So I'm really curious to see what you're going to do and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. What an incredible dance company. You just saw the Hiplay Ballerinas. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are just incredible, and we want to thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so everybody's going to want to know your name, so let's start there. I'm Chantal Ashante Hill. I am Taylor Edwards. I'm Alexandria Franklin. I am Christopher Bolivier. My name's Taraja Eccles. And I'm Brandon Avery. To be able to dance and express yourself through dance, what a great job, no, right? Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we want to go back. We want to start, you know, we, we have to look at how things begin. So how was Hiple born? Hmm. So Hiple was born from Homer Hans Bryant. He actually used to dance with a, a company, a black dance company called Dance Theater of Harlem, who was founded by Arthur Mitchell. Um, and Homer danced with him for a while. And then he ended up coming to Chicago and he started Chicago Multicultural Dance Center. And Hiple has actually been around for a very, very long time. Like, there are videos of girls doing Running Man on um, in, in point shoes. It is. But he started it. He actually started it because he wanted little girls, especially of color, to be able to connect to ballet. Because, you know, for a long time, little girls, you know, ballet was made for Caucasians. And he wanted us to be able to feel that and have the same love for it. Um, and so, of course, he got a lot of his inspiration from Arthur Mitchell, but he decided to start his own, and it was originally called the Rat Ballet. Um, the it was rap not ballet. called Hip Play. It was called the Rap Ballet, and he would take rap songs or create rap songs, and, you know, they would dance to it. So now you have hip, the Hip Play Company where... Um, you have hip hop dancers as well as point dancers. And we first show classical and then we go into the fusion of hip hop and hip play. It's incredible that you're able to do this. I mean, viewed by more than a billion people, people are definitely catching on. They, they know what you do. They know what you're about. They've seen you. You've been on those little known shows like Good Morning America. And I believe even Simon Cowell got to see you all on AGT, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Talk about that process. And, and how that went for you? Um, 
Definitely a very long day. Um, we were there for what, about a week or like five days? A few days. Yeah. Oh, a few wow. Days. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's not just one day. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, but it was a great experience. Um, the AGT culture was beautiful. They were so accepting. They were so helpful. Um, actually, I am still like lactating. So like they were very accommodating to me. You're as, a mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I know, I know. I look like I'm 12. But yes, so that's incredible. It is open to everybody, truly. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. truly. Okay, you don't age out or... It's definitely all-inclusive, and that's what we're about. Like, it's not about you being a skinny toothpick. It's not about, like, we literally have different shapes, different sizes, different ethnicities. Yes. It's Chicago multicultural. Yes. So it's multicultural, and we accept any and everybody. We also have Allison, who is our little white chocolate, you know? Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, no, seriously. Does she know she is lovingly referred to as white chocolate? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. She, she loves, she loves yes. that. Okay. Everything about it. Excellent. Excellent. Everything about it. Yeah, she was actually with you guys, I think. Yes. On AGT. Yes. Okay. Okay, yes, yes. okay. And I'm going to get to you in a little bit because you had an incredible story and you actually touched me when you were, were on that show. You were very emotional. Um, Simon, however, yes. he <laughs> kind of touched on what a lot of people may think uh, when they first hear the word ballerina. But boy, did he get a surprise. <laughs> and that's what you guys are about is is truly, I think, the surprise inside. Yeah. Secret weapons. Yeah. Okay. Because we're all trained classically. So, like, we all stand at the bar every day, you know, and do what we need to do. But then we add that little flair that people don't expect. And it's like, wait a minute, like they're doing real, da they're dancing. Oh, when point. that music change happens, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> right. here it goes. And it's really funny how you see people's faces change too. Because <laughs> yeah. they're sitting there and they're like, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. This right. is beautiful. And then all of a sudden they're like, okay. Hey, yes, <laughs> it's not okay. And so that good. is what we like. So good. The so okay. Good. So you have a child. I have a son. A son. Okay. Would you want your child to grow up and do something like this? Has the treatment been, been <laughs> good? <laughs> well, you um, <laughs> I honestly would not mind. Um, I think Duke, his name is Duke. He is actually in rehearsal with us all the time. So he grows up in a very enriching environment. Sure. He dances with us. Like he's, he's holding the stick with the men. Like he's literally just... Um, a ball of joy. But yeah, I do think he will be in some type of artistic, you know, thing. Or he might be like, Mom, I want to be a scientist. And I'm like, sure. Sure. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's yeah. Go with it. So we crisis. talk about the fun. We talk about, you know, how people enjoy your shows. Talk about the development of that show. What is it that you want your audience to feel when you when you think of the storyline, when you think of that performance and how you're going to begin and end the show? What's in the middle and, and why does it make sense to you guys and why should it make sense to the audience? We are telling a story about how our company was founded in a way. We start off with an old piece of choreography that Homer had when, he, when his company was just called Bryant Ballet. Okay. And then little by little, we start to fuse different styles together with ballet. And at the end, we just want you to enjoy, we have really good music. So we want you to enjoy the music. We have a section of uh, the show that is inspired by Chicago street style dancing. So we just want you to take you on a journey of different styles of music, different styles of dancing, and then show you how we fuse different styles, but the basis is always ballet. Okay. Um, I, I said that I wanted to talk to you about something that I saw on the show and you were very emotional, maybe because it was a long day, but um, it, it was very important for you to bring up that um, when you don't feel like you belong somewhere or you've seen, especially in this day and age, the picture perfect being, right? There's so much pressure to be that and look like that. What is it that you share with your students and what is it that you want people to know about that? First of all, dance teaches you things that you can bring to other aspects of your life. So self-discipline, self-confidence, knowing how to present yourself. But in terms of walking into a room and questioning whether you belong there or not, knowing that you are presenting yourself in the best way that you know how and being confident can take you far in this Most world. Most certainly, yeah. Really. Hip Play's motto is because we can, um, not because you asked us to, because we can. 
Um, and I think that is just powerful within itself. Um, I think we want to inspire not just young people, but older people as well, that you can be exactly who you want to be in this world. Um, I hope really everybody gets to experience the show because they'll love it. Yeah. They'll have fun, whether you're young, old, it doesn't matter. Um, and I hope we just are able to share who we are with you and you accept it. Awesome. Yeah. Your message is very positive, and we thank you so much for um, letting us be part of that and getting to know you guys. And um, the show is incredible. If you have not, uh, you must see it. So you, you just find them, and you take part in that. And then I'm sure that you guys, you seem like incredible people. If there's somebody who wants to know more, they can contact you and, and, yeah. and learn. Hit play ballerinas. Them. That's it. All, okay. all social platforms. And ballerinas are both male and female. Yes. We now know this. As okay. you can see. True. That's right. <laughs> You heard All right, my voice. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much. And we'll be right back. We actually grew up in an authentic family band. We are brothers. I got myself a good love in Walmart. Copper oak candles are completely customizable. You get to choose whatever fragrance oils you would like mm -hmm. for your very own custom blend that you can order over and over again. My name is Harley Ferguson. My program that I was in was the Associates of Applied Science in Pre-Pharmacy. I'm from Carterville, so it was a really easy transition from Carterville High School over to John A. because the high school actually brought us over here and signed us up for classes. And the why would you go anywhere else slogan really applied in this situation because it was a no-brainer. Why would I go anywhere else when I could come here? The staff, like all of the professors and the like the admissions staff, the advisement staff, everybody's so awesome here and they will help you. I mean, I don't know that I would have been able to do it without all of the help I got here. I just got accepted into the School of Pharmacy at Southern Illinois Edwardsville. I knew I wanted to go into pharmacy school, so I wanted to major in pre-pharmacy. I had had some personal health issues that medicines helped me greatly in my personal life, so I knew I wanted to help people in that same way. And I decided to come here because they had the program I needed, they had all of the classes I needed before going into pharmacy school, so it just really made sense to come here first. The Spiel presents your on 100% original new music. Everything seems to be okay 
I got myself a good loving woman. She makes those dark clouds go away. The sun is shining through my window. Everything seems to be okay. I got myself a good loving woman. She makes those dark clouds go away. Well, kind of tell us how long you guys have been on this journey, first of all. Long wow. time. <laughs> we actually grew up in an authentic family band. We are brothers, and it's the Sites family, playing festivals and fairs and amusement parks all across the United States. And I guess about 14, 15 years ago, we moved to Nashville, and the three of us brothers started the Flat River Band. Mm -hmm. And since then, we put out five CDs. Yeah. Yeah. Our latest CD is um, called Sights and Sound, kind of a spinoff of our name, Sights Brothers, uh, which has five songs on this EP that, uh, matter of fact, Chad, this last song, the song we just did, uh, was written by Chad. Yes. And uh, we were fortunate enough to have the McCrary sisters. Oh, yeah. We did a video with them, and we're excited about the release of that coming yeah. up real soon. Very nice. Yeah. So you're always reinventing yourselves and trying to stay out there and current and giving people what they want. Yes, yeah. that's exactly right. We try right. to. You know, we want to encourage those that are listening to, to keep pressing forward. Sometimes when it's cloudy, you know what? You look hard enough. Even when it's cloudy, the sun's still shining. So it's just the way you look at things. And that's kind of about this song here, uh, Shining Through My Window. Yeah. So we're pretty stoked about this song. It's perfect. And you kind of, you really get down on it, too. I mean, you're... That's, that's good stuff. It, it, it was made enjoy. for I wrote that song actually about 10 years ago, and it's taken Andy this long to learn the lyrics. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, only brothers. See, that's a prime example of a brother comment. Right, right, you know, right. Whatever. Well, obviously, we want people to follow you, right? Yes. So is online the best place to find out all the latest, greatest information? Yes, Absolutely. flatriverband.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and we've decided to jump off into TikTok world. Yay. So we're doing TikTok as well. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I know you guys have got another song, so why don't we just start that other one and we'll okay. get as much of that one in as we can. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Glimpses of gentle true spirit He runs Wishing he could fly High Only to trip At the sound of goodbye Wordlessly watching He waits by the window And wonders At the empty place inside Hardlessly Helping himself to her bad dreams, he worries. Did he hear goodbye? I This film, it's so multi-layered that you want them to be able to explore that whole world. Some people do a naked style cake. In fact, where I started at, um, that's a popular wedding style right now. My name is Cordell. I'm a patient of Dr. Hughes for the last eight years. I had a lot of work done, I had implants put in, a lot of teeth pulled out. I, I would contribute him to saying he saved my life. I was really in bad shape. I had periodontist gum disease. 
I came over and discussed it with him and everything. He did x-rays. He said, we got a job ahead of us, but I can do it. And he did it. I got a beautiful smile now, and I don't have headaches like I used to. So come on over and see him. He's one of the best in the area. I'm Cameron Offer. It's a lot of people that come, a lot of students come to the game. So you, know, you get to interact with them. Once basketball is done, because I understand that one day is going to be done for me, uh, I want to still be involved with it in some type of way, taking that next step, being ready for the next step. So next school, that's what keeps me motivated. It's good that your hard work doesn't go unnoticed sometimes. I told John A. College more so for the basketball, but I got here, the atmosphere and the people I get to meet, that's a good reason why I came. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Estilos with The Spiel on Entertainment. And recently, I had a chance to talk with Oscar-nominated actor Cody Smith-McPhee about his award-worthy performance in the Oscar-nominated Netflix film, The Power of the Dog. I wonder what little lady made these. I did, sir. So, Cody, congratulations on this nomination, this great Oscar nomination. How are you feeling about it? Over the moon, elated, ecstatic. I could keep going. Um, yeah, really, I, I don't really have words for how I truly feel. It's, it's just amazing. You know, I'm, I'm curious, where were you when you got word that you got the nomination? And I'm, I'm pretty confident that you were very happy. But how about your friends and family around you when they heard? Uh, yeah, I was actually lucky enough to be uh, home in, in Australia, um, in the house that I grew up in with my girlfriend by my side, my mom uh, on my other side and my little brother there as well. So it was a very homey, uh, homely, you know, warm experience. And, and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And what's really great about the upcoming Oscars is not only you're nominated, but pretty much the entire core cast, Kirsten Dunst, Benedict Cumberbatch, Jesse Plemons, and of course your director, Jane Campion, everybody's got a shot at that big Oscar. Have you all kind of gotten in touch with each other and chatted about, you know, how phenomenal this is? Absolutely. I mean, we've had the opportunity to be with each other recently for some Q&As and stuff like that. Not, not all at once, I don't believe, but... Uh, yeah, we, we've had those kind of pinch me moments of like, I can't believe that we, we all made it up there. I feel like for a lot of us, that really is a win in and of itself to just see the whole ensemble up there and even everyone, you know, behind the camera. Um, yeah, what more can you ask for? What you doing? Getting mixed up with her. You are marvelous, Rose. We were married Sunday. When you were working on this project, and it's a project that now has gotten great acclaim, and of course the critics love it, and as well as the audiences, now that you have you know, been on the receiving end of some of that acclaim, did you have a sense why you were working on this project that it was going to resonate so well? I, I definitely would have to say I knew that the script and the story and, and the novel, and of course Jane, is super special. I knew that no matter how it was how it was received. This was a story that was unlike anything that I'd have ever worked on before. And especially in the presence of Jane, um, quite the unique experience, but yeah, I never have my head too wrapped around on, you know, how it's going to be received. I guess that was, yeah, that's the one many challenges of, of storytelling. It's to make sure that it's received, not just in any one direct way, but especially this film, it's so multi-layered and uh, complex that you want them to be able to explore that whole world of, of the many avenues and many interpretations that it holds, so. Open up the gate, let him out. You sure he's not ready? Go on, let him out. It's just a man, Peter. Only another man. <laughs> Speaking of the film being multi-layered, your performance is pretty multi-layered in that, you know, as you're watching the film, you see the motivation of this character seemingly going in one direction, and then there's a big reveal at the end that sort of uh, changes your perspective of what that character's motivation was. What was it like for you as an actor, you know, tapping into this, this, this journey, if you will? I mean, I, I loved it, honestly. That, that was the real whole thing of, of Peter that um, attracted me to, to the role. 
it was the challenge of, you know, having so much internalized that you had to kind of leave for the audience, you know, for the people that picked up on what he was doing or the people that watched it the second time through, but also not so much that you would reveal and destroy the whole kind of twist in the third act. So I loved walking that kind of fine line and, you know, with the guidance of Jane, it's, it's something that's done um, with great trust in her, I guess. So anyone else, you know, I feel like it, it would have been really hard to pull off and just make most of those decisions myself, but we put a great deal of thought behind it. Final quick fun question. Were there any cowboy uh, techniques or, or skills that you picked up in the course of the film that either you were surprised to learn or that you found a whole lot of fun? I had to take the route of staying a rookie at everything, you know, like, I, I mean, I think there's equal sense in learning and knowing how to ride a horse and, uh, or just jumping on it and looking like a rookie. But yeah, I, I stayed far away from any of the ranch work or anything like that. Cause I, I just needed to remain in, you know, Peter's, um, yeah, willingness of not really knowing anything. Well, the performance was phenomenal. The movie is just great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Such kind words. Sort of a lonesome place out here, Pete. Unless you get in the swing of things. Okay, you know why this is funny? <laughs> He's blindfolded to smell. Like a like a pomegranate? I don't know. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. We're gonna go through each one. We're gonna do two shots on each. Yep. But the same time we're eating chicken with the variant of hot sauce here, we're going to have a serious conversation. Yeah. The mission of the Christopher Greater Area Rural Health Planning Corporation is to provide accessible, comprehensive, quality health care to all the people within the communities we serve. Let us help get your health back on track. At CRHPC, we provide quality health care, affordable and accessible to you, the patient. No one turned away. Your health is our top priority. Serving all your health care needs. There's no way they're all here. They're all here. Are you kidding me? I'll see you straight, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. And all the... <laughs> <laughs> Great on fish, great on beef. Team good with chips. Hey guys, I'm Michaela Lane, and welcome to my tour bus. Okay. Uh -uh. okay. Oh, 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 oh. They're experiencing your enthusiasm, your love. What is it that you want to achieve every day? What is that footprint that you're trying to leave? So we've got Caleb Odom on set of Copper Oak Candle Company. I, I feel like we're in a lab, Caleb. Yeah, absolutely. It's a bit of a science experiment. I'm so excited. So here's the deal. Um, this thing called social media and your dear friend, would you like to give her a plug? This would be your chance. I Mindy Brock. Mindy Thank Brock. You. Representing Thank you, Mindy. the brand. Thank yes, you. Yes. So anyway, she she reiterated the brand. I had actually seen it maybe in a... In a uh, retail store or I, I have seen this before and it's beautiful. It's one of those logos that you think, okay, that's nice. They put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, right? I really appreciate that. Yes. Something I came up with just sitting at home. I thought about, you know, wanting to start something that was productive and creative, something that would occupy any bit of spare time that I have. Yes. And so just came up with the brand and the logo and really starting off small with friends and family, but it's grown to uh, Man, has it. be to a whole uh, lo forest. local brand now. Yes, so. a whole forest now. And here, here's the deal. Everybody likes candles, right? That's yeah. a great, you know, you can just use that. You can walk into any kind of uh, guy that or gal that wants to invest in you and say, Everybody loves candles. And I'm like, there it is. There's just money. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I know a lot of times candles get the stigma for being kind of a, a ladies' product, but not, not I know anymore. a lot of guys like a nice candle as well. And so I wanted to bring some more masculine and also feminine fragrances to the market and allow you to customize your own fragrance and choose exactly what you like. Okay, so. <laughs> 
if you didn't know, and you cannot steal our ideas because we already have these patented and, and they're yes. copyrighted, so trademarked. Don't even, trademarked, so stay away. Absolutely. Okay, but we're going to show you the art of candle making because it would be cool to share that. And then I have come up with a pretty crazy duo that we're going to put together. Yes. And you say if it does well, we can call it the spiel? We can let you have your very own custom well, no, fragrance I, I like called to, the spiel. Okay. Yes. And, and we can sell it? Absolutely. And if I sell the most, I get like a portion? Absolutely. See how I just I'll give that? you a wholesale price and you can sell them yourself and we'll both make some money on it. Cha-ching! Rob, do you hear that? <laughs> I do. That's, that's a lot of money right there. All right, let's get to it. What are we going to do? All right. So first, we're going to make sure that our oil or our wax has been melted down to the proper temperature. Okay. And once that has been melted down correctly, then we're gonna go ahead and measure out our oils. Now, do you do equal parts or do you, if you want one scent to maybe take over the other, you do a little bit more of that? So, copper oak candles are completely customizable. Mm -hmm. You get to choose your container. You get mm -hmm. to choose one of our two label options. And then you get to choose whatever fragrance oils you would like mm -hmm. for your very own custom blend that you can order over and over again. It doesn't take a lot of oil. Give to your family. Does it? it does Nope, not okay. for this amount. Okay. Usually you want to have about one ounce of oil per 16 ounces of wax. Okay. And that's why you want to make sure you have a quality oil. That makes sense. All right. So at this point, we've got our oil measured out and we're just going to pour it into our wax. And so now since we've got everything mixed together and our container is heated, yes. we're going to go ahead and just do a nice steady pour. You don't want it to splash everywhere. Okay. And you want to try to eliminate any type of air bubbles that may um, happen in there from pouring too quickly. Yes. We've okay. got that full now. And then what we want to do is use one of these braces here. Yeah. And this is going to <gasps> hold the wick into place. Look at that. You and are sure fancy. That it's centered. That is awesome. And then we let it sit overnight mm -hmm. and it will cure together mm -hmm. and it'll be ready for burning in no time. That's What's awesome. great about these pure soy candles is that they have a really awesome burn time. I mean, okay. you can burn these things. I've had customers tell me they forgot it lit, you know, lit <gasps> overnight, wow. woke up the next morning and still had plenty, plenty of candle left. Listen, um, the nose knows, or so we think. We've got two guys that we're going to let try and smell and so I'm going to bring them up and I guess I'll coach them from the side okay, okay. so we got Prescott's coming in all right what we're going to let Prescott do is try to determine what is in the spiel candle okay, okay? Sounds good. and then we got Brandon hey Brandon we want to cover your eyes here just just here put that over your head and cover your eyes good all right so I wouldn't I wouldn't pick that up, but if you're Don't able to up. bend yeah. over and smell, okay, you, can you can't find see out. the labels. You cannot see the labels. Just give it a whiff just, and see yeah, what you think. Yeah, just spend some time with it. Put your nose in it. Don't go too far though, because it's still hot. You could burn yourself. Just think about it. Think on it. Okay, you know why this is funny? <laughs> He's blindfolded to smell. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Do you get it? All right, so I'm gonna let you go. All right, right down here. Walk All with right. me. Walk with me. You're only walking a little bit. <laughs> Okay, you're yeah, only I'm walking a little bit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get, let's, let's give him another scent. Okay, sounds good. Because this, this looks dangerous to me. Which uh, one would you recommend? Don't put anything Caleb? that's hot in my hands. Okay, well, just put your hands down. You're good. Okay. All right, Which let's, one do, you do? let's do this one. Okay, fun. give him that. Right. He's just going to put it right up to your nose. Here it comes. It's pretty mild. It's a little different, so you're going to have to get out your... Sniffer. We've been encouraged. I mean, you can eat it, but we probably So shouldn't. I've got the merch on. Do I get a hint? <laughs> oh, you do have. You're sporting the merch. Yes, That's is, right. Look at that. He's representing the brand with yeah. the copper merchandise. You're going to be able to find the website soon. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. It's kind of got a roasty smell, but it's a little too clean to be like, like a, a, a nut smell. or like a hazelnut or something. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are terrible at like this. A, like a pomegranate? I don't know. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Went really bad. <laughs> I will what admit, there are a lot of different fragrances going on right here. Okay. And I think what they're getting, the floral aspect of it, is what we actually just blended. <gasps> so whenever you, okay. whenever you pour in that was that. oil into hot wax, it's immediately going to fumigate the room. Okay. Do you so, want to guess these first before we give anything I away? I kind of have a uh, close one on that. All that right, what smells do you think? like a citrus, like, like some sort of citrus fruit, and then like something close to patchouli. Okay. Wow. Very close. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay. You get down in there and sniff it and see yep. if you know. Spend some more time. It smells like grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> he said he kind of gave you some clues if you could even play off that a little peach. bit. Peach. That's my final answer is peach. No. All right. Okay. So I'm going to unveil what's in here. Yes. Okay. So in here we have the white pine forest. White pine forest. Not to be confused with patchouli. patchouli. Right. 
So how do you get the entire forest in there? Exactly. Oh, it's <laughs> tough. And the orange and cedar. Okay, yeah. so I was Combo. close. You were, you were much closer yeah. than the love and the happiness and the greatness in the air. Okay. So the other one that they were smelling, this one is called cedar pipe. It's actually a blend of cedar and tobacco. Oh, okay, gotcha. The roasty yeah. smell. The roasty smell okay. is from the So like I'm not entirely nose blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nose blind, so. very good. Here, see if, you, see if you can smell that one. See right. if you can tell what me what's got? in that real quick. What you got, real quick, real quick. Bonus Coffee. question. Poppy? Coffee. Coffee. Oh, I thought you said. Coffee and what? There's two things. Uh, I didn't smell the other thing. Patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the patchouli alone. This one's called pumpkin cream latte. It's I was gonna say, it smells like a cream. Coffee and pumpkin and vanilla. All right, find them. We're a fan, thank you. I appreciate you having me on, thank you so much. We'll be right back. And okay. as you can see, it's not even. It's gonna look like a hot mess at the moment. Good. Okay. So from here, you have options. My name is Tammy. I had just lots of dental issues my whole life. I had had other work done that wasn't successful and, it, and I needed it repaired. And I found that Dr. Hughes, he did every single thing I wanted. Then we just went step by step. You know, people compliment me on my smile and they tell me I look happy and I'm like, I am, go see Dr. Hughes. <laughs> How exciting in this really small community to find somebody who actually can do all the big city things. I mean, it changed my life. We need you to subscribe to YouTube so we have as many viewers there as we do on Fox. I think we're at like a million plus. When disaster strikes, it's nice to know you have some place you can go while rebuilding your home. Contact Larry's Trailer Sales today. Not only do we have units available for those needing a place to call their own, we also have items many people may be in need of, including freshwater hoses, power products, and all your camping essentials. Find Larry's online at larrystrailersales.com, home of the RV warranty forever, serving you since 1966. And we are spieling it in the kitchen brought to you by Prairie Farms. This is the, like one of my favorite things to say. So bake me happy. Yes. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. Again. Yes. You I did such a it. great job with the carrots. We wanted you to do donuts and frosting and just, we just like to be entertained. Well, I appreciate it. So, <laughs> so you've got the, it is a business. I mean, we were yes. poking fun. It's Bake Me Happy. And I can tell you, this is probably the key to most everyone's heart that, that I know. Um, and you've had huge success because... You're kind of doing it in a way that nobody else is doing it. Like with you, you're not afraid to go outside the lines and do bigger and better and more stuff on things. Talk about how you try to run your business in regards to design. So I just try to be different than everyone else. Um, obviously, that's really hard because right. it's not necessarily unique. Everything has been done by everyone before. Um, but getting inspiration by um, things that aren't necessarily in our area. Mm -hmm. um, I like to travel a lot and I like to go to different cities and I take little ideas from everywhere that I go and I bring them back and I Perfect. just like to make that here. Perfect. So. Well, I love what you said you're going to do today. We're going to have some fun with the cake and then we're going to do some things on the donuts. And I noticed you spent quite a bit of time with this icing. So what is it yes. about icing that, how, how do you know when it's ready and ripe to go onto a cake? Okay, so I actually used the same um, buttercream mm -hmm. two different ways on this cake. So okay. um, I kind of prepped it to get it ready to go um, because I wanted it to be set so we could decorate it. Mm -hmm. So when we're first putting together a cake, it's really important that the um, buttercream, when we first put it on, is maybe a little stiffer than when we finish oh. it. Okay. Um, when I put it together, I'm stacking the layers with a little bit stiffer of a buttercream so that we can um, basically give it some structure and shape and okay. let it hold because you don't want it to fall. So one thing um, that you see on Pinterest and mm -hmm. all of your pictures all the time, everyone sees these perfectly smooth cakes. Right. Well, the trend now is kind of not having a perfect cake. Mm -hmm. It's finding perfection and imperfection, ah. which is great because then, I don't want to say anybody can do it, but mm -hmm. it gives 
kind of the home baker a little more of a chance right. um, to explore their creativity. Not be so freaked out. Exactly. Hey, what's, what's that over there? <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, wait. That was so good. Um, I had to do that. So what I like to do is start by doing my top okay. first. Um, so I'll put a big plop of icing on top and always put more than you think you need. Mm. Um, if you do less, then you run the risk of not having enough, having to add more, yes. smooth it out. You want more then, frosting. Yeah, then it becomes unlevel. So if you add more, you can actually put it on, spin it, and it'll be nice and even, and it'll push mm. to that outer edge and kind of go over and make your job a lot easier. See, that's I would I would present that to my family and go, look how pretty that is. I and, love it. And I think and you could. some people do a naked style cake. Okay. In fact, where I started at, um, that's a popular wedding style right now, like a naked, naked. cake. Um, where it has very minimal frosting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you'll do your top first, okay. and then you'll take and start doing your sides. So um, you'll just place a little bit right on the side and kind of push up right mm -hmm. into this top lip. Okay. And by having your icing a lot um, looser, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the term that you want by adding that heavy cream in there, um, it does make it easier to go on and smooth out like this. So Very I good. have everything around the cake. And okay. as you can see, it's not even. It's going to look like a hot mess at the moment. Good. Okay. So from here, you have options. We have so, options. We like options. Okay. Yes. So you can either start to smooth it out. Okay. Um, you can decide if you want to do a scalloped cake whatever you want to do from there. All right, so here's where it gets fun. I'm excited. I'm gonna take a paintbrush, and Ooh. it's something people don't think about when you're using cake, but it's really nice to have on hand. And I've got three different colors here, and we're gonna go sunset inspired. So um, I'm just gonna add my pink first, and I'm just gonna randomly dot it oh. in spots on the cake. So as I've dotted that through, it is good to go. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go back to the spatula. Mm -hmm. And if you wanna get a little icing, you can. It's totally up to you. But just put it right on the side of the cake and you're just gonna start pulling it around. Oh. And as you do that. Did you guys see that? It oh. is going to, and don't be afraid to pick up your spatula and just kind of move it. Pull up. You can that make cool. angles if you want. That's really neat. So I like to do this and do little kind of mm -hmm. swooshes up the side. That is so much yeah. fun. So uh, for this one, we're gonna kind of do it a little tropical. Okay. Um, so I have some different non-edible um, toppings that mm -hmm. we can do on here. Um, so we've got some leaves and some little vines, uh, mm -hmm. but this specific one, we're gonna do tropical theme with these. So um, I like to do different textures. Okay. So this here, I'll start with one that we're gonna kind of trail down the cake. I will start creating that dimension within the top of the cake where I want it to specifically be. And some people may wonder, you know, why are you spending all this time? Why are you putting on these things that are not edible? But you have to understand anymore at a party, at an event, wedding, the cake is a centerpiece. And that's the truth. It really is. Don't be afraid to use little fun party things like this. If you're making a cake that is um, tropical inspired, grab a fun that little pick so like cute. this. So. Awesome. So Always by doing that, fun. look at that. No matter what angle you look at the cake. It's gorgeous. I love it. And you're right. You would not want to eat that because you just want to stare at it. And it's so pretty. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to break. And when we do that, during the break, they're going to see you work some magic on your donuts. Because that's yes. the one thing. When, when people come and they look in your case or, or if they look at something that you've displayed, I don't even think you, you make to order. Right now, yes. Yeah. Until we get our storefront open. So people usually spend a lot of time looking at that because you put so much yumminess and goodness on there, right? Yes. So. And kind of like the cakes. Um, Beautiful. People now are switching to things like donuts as mm -hmm. their centerpiece. They're doing Smart. donut walls and stuff like that. All right, so she will stay tuned. She'll offer you a little bit and just, she's not gonna, she's gonna zoom through that part of it. So listen, you know where to find her. Bake Me Happy, is that right, Anna? Yes. Okay, online. Yeah, Bake Me Happy Food Co. Okay, Keisha.
You're a rock star. You already know that, though, Thank right? You. Thank and she you. sings, and she she was on American Idol and I Voice. I was not. And I just the auditioned. Voice, that was no. Was, I did yeah. not audition for the Voice. She really did. I mean, no, she, no, I did not. Great. No. Yeah. Please right don't put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> if you she only goes, fake knew. news. Fake, fake news. news. In the military, we're always taught to push forward, to push through the pain. You're always taught to focus on the goal. They feel that they have renewed hope. Their stress and anxiety are decreased. A lot of them have made comments that they are even sleeping better. It taught me to make time for myself. You may see challenges in your life, but you have that stability and knowing who you are and where it is that you are in relation to what it is that's going on around you. That's hotter. That's hot. That's, that's, that's a good one. Mm, mm, okay. That's hotter. Mm -hmm. mm. That's hotter. Mm. Mm, good. All right. <laughs> mm. Okay, welcome into Daddle Do It Roulette. Mm. You might have heard of Russian roulette, mm. right? Okay, we're doing it with hot sauce. I, I don't know what has happened in this building where I am influenced so negatively by a bunch of guys that I'm now being suckered into eating wings that you may or may not be done with hot sauce where we may or may not know to which degree we're about to go in regards to heat. All right, so, okay, I don't know the rules of the game, but the way I believe I, I understand it is... We're going to go through each one as long as we can. Again, we may start with the hottest one. <laughs> and then but that, we and don't then know. Will be. Right. We, don't, we don't know. That'll do it. I mean, what, where's our degree of temperature? Heat, yeah, right? Right the there. Scovilles, where they the, at? Whatever, yeah, that. Where is it? But anyway, okay, so we've agreed we're going to do two shots on each. Yep. But the same time we're eating chicken with the variant of hot sauce here, we're going to have a serious conversation. Yeah. You're going to get to know me better. Well, no, I don't, I don't really want to know all that. We're, we're just going to talk about some stuff, and it'll be great. And we d we thought we could soften up this segment with just the beautiful cake we made in the kitchen oh, today. Make me happy. Too pretty to eat. Beautiful. Here we go. Right? Is this it? Wait, yeah. did I? Oh, my gosh. Was this at the end? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's, okay, I think that was it. This is, guys, what did here I tell go. you? That'll do it roulette. That'll we don't do know. It. That'll we don't do know. It. I mean, the gun's loaded here. Okay. So spicy jalapeno. Here we go. All right. So what I thought we would talk about today, Daniel, do you have a preference of the wings? No. Right? I think we're going to work one. our way down. Yeah. Right, right? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. All right there. No, we got a good dousing right here there. Here we go. Okay. We got slap wings. I think I'm supposed to be talking to you Bow. about something. That's not bad. Mm. That's not yeah. bad. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's really good. No, seriously, I'll take some more. Okay. That is good. You know what? She went. Mm. That was a not only because it went to the straight to the throat. Not the best tactic there. Not the best move for resiliency. Okay. So you're planning. You've been doing these big events. Mm. The Cedar Session. Oh. Right? What's, what's that about? Mm. Look away because I'm going to douse the head. Yes, okay. Cedar Sessions. Wow. I didn't know you were going to talk about it. Wow, you threw a lot in mine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Seer sessions are essentially a space for creatives and believers. Right, right. Um, okay. I gotta take a bite. Right. Mmm. Mm. That's hotter. That's hot. That's, that's a good one. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's hotter. Mm -hmm. mm. That's hotter. Mm. So, it's a it's space a, mm -hmm. for creatives, yes. believers. Through song, um, yeah. worship, testimony. To write so original good. music and mm -hmm. um, just to really bring people closer to the heart of God. I love that. Um, closer to other people who. I don't know that God would agree with this challenge Ooh. we're doing. He's like, Why would you, you take such a serious topic? Right, I did. such a hot, well, I guess because it's a I hot wanted, topic. I wanted you to have to focus and then you get off your game. So that one's burning a little after the fact. Right. Okay. Tongue is on fire. You know, yeah. it's really good. I'm going to start sweating here in a bit. Why are you adding more to mine? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm, okay. Mm. It's like it went down. Dude, I really, I feel like it did. You think mm -hmm. we started with the hottest one? Mm -mm. All right, back to Cedar <laughs> Session. So um, it's just, you need to follow, because it's not a scheduled thing all the time. You can, no. if, if you don't live in Illinois, you can find things <clears throat> like that in, in other parts. And they're pop ups, they're kind of like pop up Yeah, businesses. they are pop ups. Pop ups. So you want to look, so look for that. So we released a video, uh, our first video, and it actually is at approximately like 2,700 views currently. Nice. Love that. And it's only been out for like three weeks. I love that. I shared it. So yeah. it's actually getting traction. Right. It's starting to get organic traction. Right. So that's a blessing, you know, because we just, I cannot tell you the amount of comments I read that were like, I was so blessed by this. I was so encouraged by this. So it was really cool that we're doing something that's just encouraging people. All right, you ready for this? Here we go. Mm, okay. Mm, Almost mm. like the same heat. Spine is wine, baby. You know, garlic habanero. Let's do it. Here we come. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, watch. Stop. <laughs> that was for you. Mm, All right, slather this it is, up. Oh, I smell the garlic. Uh -oh. Garlic habanero. Really? All right, you ready? Already? Here we go. Prairie Farms are going to be upset. We're going to have a whole tub of... It's all right. Mm. That one's hotter. All right. That's good. This is the last one. All right. Scorching habanero. Can Whew. you believe that you have met your match? Have I? It's really not that hot, is it? No. That'll do it for <laughs> wet. But here's the crazy thing. We sat down here like we were ready. Yeah, we're ready. In case... Might not have to. We're on the last one. We're probably a bunch of gangsters, you know? I think we are. Okay, that's good. This is the last one. Did you take a bite out of something? Already? No, you. yours is right here. What? You put There's sauce another one right here. You know what? I, There's okay. sauce on mine because you're shaking them. Listen, guys. Oh did my you gosh. see his tactic right there? He came over here and smeared his that'll do it hot sauce <laughs> oh my gosh. on my last leg. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this for real. And you know what? He's trying to take me out by double dipping. He's he's giving me two. <laughs> he's giving me two variations of the that'll do it roulette. We're gonna play roulette. We're gonna play roulette. For real. Chamber's okay. full. Okay. <coughs> All right. Here you go. Cheers to the mm. last one. Sissy stuff. Yeah. It was Come very on. weak. That'll do it. That'll do it. We were so doing? ready. What are you doing? But yeah. That was actually delicious though. That was good. I'm starting to feel something after the fact. Yeah, I'm not lying. I mean, my lips are burning. <laughs> I'm, to, I'm totally trying to be cool. I mean, it's a, it's a good hot yeah, sauce. It's, it's very coming, flavorful It's hitting too. me after. Yeah, it is. Totally. Yeah. So because... Um, I'm pretty sure within a couple of minutes I might lose feeling mm. in, in the lips. So we're just gonna shut yeah, it. Yeah, shut we're it down. Just shut Land it down the right plane, now. Angie. <laughs> Land, Land the, the plane. plane. <laughs> Until next time. So what is the chicken for? <laughs> the challenge.
The chicken is for the challenge. I don't know if this is safe, but we set up our air fryer right in front of Angie's office. So, uh, we'll see how things go. <laughs> you leave the patchouli alone. What's up for Julie?